What's good, YouTube? Your boy Bosco here at the mall on Return Tuesday. The Tuesday after Christmas, everybody makes their returns and stuff. Let's go ahead and check out and see what's going on here in the mall. We only got three stores to check out, Foot Locker, Finish Line, and Shoe Palace. Let's see if there's any crazy markdowns or even some really good returns. If you like what you see, hit the like button, share the video. Here on Return Tuesday at the Foot Locker, 140 on these. I believe we've seen these before. This color combination not bad for the women's Jordan 1 mid. And Jordan 6 Gore Texas at the outlets everywhere. At some other stores discounted already, still full reach out here though. The MBO 3 Dexter's Laboratory at this location too. I didn't see too many spots with them, but they do have them here. Then of course we got the Puma Scoot 1, Scoot Henderson's signature shoe. Only $100 retail on these. Of the two Puma shoes, which one are you guys liking more? A lot more tech going on for the MBO 3. This Scoot is pretty much a budget model. The tech is not as good as everyone else. But for $100, you can't beat that. And it is durable for outdoor usage. So keep that in mind in case you guys need a cheaper shoe or a lower margin of a shoe and that you want to wear outside. These MBO 3s, I did a full review on the Dexas Laboratory. This is what I'm speaking of. All the scratch marks, you can see the mesh to let you know for sure that there's perforations or there's breathability. You guys can see the material. It don't look like it has a lot of ventilation. But I would assume it does because these do. They brought these back out, the lime green MBO1 lows. This was a colorway that was pretty hype when it first dropped. So we have four colorways of the Puma MBO3. This one represents this high school. A lot of people do like this colorway, that gray with the vault green popping out through the mesh scratches. This one was like the first colorway I believe that came out. First or second colorway of the MBO3. Not a bad shoe. I just feel like it's a lot going on. Wasn't really my cup of tea. But let me know which one you know you guys are liking the most. This colorway to me when it first dropped was definitely solid and I still like it. Pretty nice colorway. I like the color combination on here. That purple, that pink, that vault green or lime green. These are pretty clean as well. But by far the best colorway right now is the Puma MBO3 Dexter's Laboratory. Have a full detailed review and on feet plus lace swapping plus lace tutorial on how to get these things on feet, how to lace them up and switch the laces. They do come with some peak laces on these. You know, all four of them are pretty solid. But to me, I think it goes in order of the Dexter's Laboratory, this one, this one, and then that one. This is probably my least favorite so far of the colorways that had came out. But there are some really nice ones on the way. Give me your thoughts and opinions about the Puma MBO3s. I have some Adidas shorts on sale, normally 50 bucks down to $19. Normally $40 on this shirt down to $19 as well. And they got the shorts to match too that are $19 also. Still full retail of $130 on these. Materials are not too bad. Let me know what you think about these. Chamray Jordan 7s here at this full locker. Still full retail. We saw these at Shoe Palace Glendale for 130 bucks. Still full retail on these. Not a bad cutaway. Easy for me to pass on these, and these should be on sale soon. We 13 is truly sitting right now. Definitely a classic shoe that people were hyped about at first, but once they dropped, people just didn't care no more. Okay, we're getting closer and closer. These are finally down to 119. We need these to get down to 89, 79, something like that. How long will we have to wait before that actually happens? Definitely one of the best colorways of the LeBron 20, the Christmas shoe. Still full retail at 210. I definitely been wearing these a lot these last few days because I just like them, bro. They fit good, comfortable. The cushion around the ankle, collar, and everything is definitely on point. So we got the John 1 Zombie, the LeBron 20 Christmas shoe. Both of these are kind of Christmas theme or Christmas vibes. I threw some red laces in my review of this shoe. Go ahead and check that out if you guys want to throw some red laces in there. Being that you got the red hint on the back, Definitely makes this shoe pop out a little more. Of these two colorways, of these two shoes, which one do you guys like more? And they do have both of the best colorways so far of the LeBron 21. LeBron, during the game on Christmas Day, wore a Christmas edition of this Ablon Pearl with a, wholly diff a totally different color tone, which was definitely unique. Of these two right here, which one do you guys like more? Ablon Pearl is definitely fire. Very unique, retails this, it's uh, 200 bucks. Iridescent outsoles, you can't go wrong with it at all. Then you have the iridescent splash, 
on the Kankailan, which we have a full detail review on this. Very clean LeBron 21, man. Both of these colorways are dope, man. And like I said before, the LeBron 20 and 21 definitely saved LeBron's sneaker line. Let me know if you guys agree with that. And drop your top five LeBron silhouettes in the comment section below. Does LeBron 20 or LeBron 21 make the list? This Asics colorway is not too bad. I like this, kind of giving me Michigan vibes, Michigan Wolverines. Pretty cool dunk selection for the women slash kids. I feel like we've seen this colorway before, but then again, yeah, yeah, I think we have. Material's not too good, $90 on the retail for these. Of these four, which one stands out to you the most? This right here is a solid up-tempo colorway. A lot of people don't like that iridescent or the materials used on the air. But these are for the women. I like this colorway for women. Got the satin on there. 39 bucks on the retail for these, so they are on sale, obviously. What do you guys think about these? Anthony Edwards AE1, full detail review on the channel. Definitely a solid shoe for only 120 bucks. Let me know what you guys think about these. A little tricky around that lacing area, so I do have a lacing tutorial up on YouTube as well. In case you guys want to do some lace swaps because these do come with extra laces plus you might want to put something else in there to give your own style to it but let me know if you guys liking these or not 70 percent off now jordan shirt with a little tie-dye on it not too bad normal retailer is 50 bucks now here we go wu-tang clan basketball team shout out to the wool not too bad on that Got some Foot Locker shorts here, or Nike shorts, 50 bucks on those. Foot Locker shorts right here. Then we got these Dodger ones here also too from Pro Standard, 75 bucks on these. Definitely not a bad situation, but just not for me. And then we got um, some more Nike shorts here for 66 bucks. This color combination is kind of dope. Definitely giving off pool party spring vibes on these. Some sweats here too, 90 bucks. 90 bucks on these, plain on the back, got a little design there. I have a Nike Day graphic, as you guys can see. But $90 for these is crazy. That's why they are here on sale. But there's only one size left, so evidently other sizes sold. Then we got some more Nike sweats here, like track, like almost text lease, 90 bucks on those, down to 75% off. You guys see that shit? I'm over here looking at the shit. I'm gonna grab the shit that I'm looking at. Like, what's going on with that, bro? In the 70% off section, one thing I saw here that was kind of interesting was well, what is this? Nike, $75 off of those, down to 49 bucks. But they also got some LaMelo Ball gear here too. The red one, looking like the Nipsey Hustle gear. Normally 90 bucks, take 70% off of that. Got the Mellow logo right here too as well. Pretty solid colorway. And then of course they got more shorts, Nike shorts, 66 bucks normally. And more of those Dodger Pro Standards, Nike Tech shorts. 75 bucks with the uh 70 percent off a lot of deals on shorts right now this is just a uh regular Foot Locker hoodie shout out to any of uh, the raiders fans out there watching they got some raiders team apparel here 19.99 on the tee normally retail for 39 bucks look at this dallas cowboy pro standard jacket right here this one's actually pretty nice got the dark oh with the super bowl because you know we win those you know we win those big star on the back Looks like a malfunction on the back though. Retail normally is 130 bucks. Okay, they're tripping on this, bro. I do like that patch on the side, but no, nah, not for 130, hell no. Nah. More Laker merch here too. Pro standard merch, 100 on this stuff. Really nice with the patches. Got the stitching on the hoodie too, but uh, I don't know. Not really doing that, but it is clean though. Maybe if Kyrie or KD was still there, this would be something to grab. Pro standard Brooklyn. T, not too bad on these. Normally retail for 38 bucks. It's on a rack that looks like a cell rack, so maybe it'll work. Then we got the Pro Standard Steelers jacket down to 69 bucks. Still have a good amount of these left. Should I wait to grab one or grab them now? I don't think people like them as much as I do. These are the ones that go with the UNC toe or any UNC color shoe with the black color combination. Normally 95 bucks down to 50 bucks. And they got the jacket here to match, which I'm kind of cool on. It is nice too. But I don't, I don't need the jacket myself. Fit eighty dollars on this Nike sweater, which is something I'm not really into. But it is a pretty dope graphic all over print. Back at this finish line once again. Let's go ahead and see what's in here.
Hopefully this means a lot of people bought stuff from here because you got a lot of empty spots on the wall. So hopefully people did come through for the holiday season to scoop up stuff and don't return them. But I mean, they ain't got nothing to do with me. 70 bucks on the 90s, 105 on the 97s. I think we've seen this before. Air Max Pulse down to 80 bucks. What do you guys think about these Air Max 90s? Leather, new buck and mesh materials on these, 130. 10 on the kick. 110 on the Terrascape. Definitely seen these cheaper in other locations here. Stuff like this Terrascape being marked at 110 is just uh, more evidence or more proof that you guys should check out some of my other videos or either just hit up multiple stores so you can see where the best price is. If you were somebody out there interested in the Terrascape, we definitely found these for a lot cheaper. Uh, two nice colorways of the Air Max 90, that olive green. Then we got that maroon colorway. All of these are still full retail at 140 bucks. And then my favorite one that's here right now is that UNC colorway or that powder blue, whatever you guys like to call these. More of a UNC colorway, still 140 though. We have an Air Max 1 down to 140 or actually 120 from 140. Whenever we see a few colorways of a certain shoe that's pretty dope, which is the Air Max 90 or Air Max 1, 97, plenty of other shoes out there. I usually like to do a comparison to see what you guys are thinking in the comments below. The maroon colorway is definitely fire releases next month sometime but some stores have them out early these university blue ones have been out for a minute same thing with this olive colorway all three of these are dope retailing for 140 bucks but of the three which one do you guys feel like is the best if you know me and see my videos i'm going with the unc first the burgundy second and then this olive green third quite sure if i saw these uh vomero fives here at this location good to see more location getting the vomero five in different colorways 160 on the retail 2002 R's knocked down in price, 135 as opposed to 150. Definitely a good thing to see for this right here for sure. It's galore, pandas galore. So many pandas in this store. Been finding them at Ross in various sizing. This size 11 here in hand. Don't know if you find too many big sizes, but there definitely been sizes floating around. Then we got these, which everybody is really not a fan of. These definitely have to be marked down at some point. $115 right now. There's pandas on the Jordan 1 Low and Jordan 1 Mid. Definitely seen both of these silhouettes before in this colorway. Let me know what you guys think. Another store with the Jordan 12 Cherry. Still full retail of 210, but they do have a good amount of sizes left as I just asked somebody. So there was somebody hitting me up in the comment section asking about a 10 and a half. They do have it here if you're in the area come scoop it up if you need help grabbing shoes go ahead and join my channel membership and i can help you scoop up some shoes everything else here we pretty much seen before jordan 3 fears budget nike shoes john Morant's down there too curry 11s lebron witness eights another location here which we're happy to see these for 75 bucks as opposed to 160 if they're 75 bucks they're only going to drop down a little bit more if you want to wait, maybe try that, but uh, I don't know. Normally 160 down to 75. Now you definitely don't see these too many spots. This is one of the more harder colorways to get of the Hibachi Gil Zero. Got the Hibachi on the back. Definitely a good shoe with some great grip. Let me know if you guys are a fan of the Gil Zeros. Maybe finish line got the memo that these are flooded at Burlington and Ross for about the same price, 40 bucks, 140 down to 40 bucks a hundred dollars off the retail price point for these crazy so this at Foot Locker still full retail at the finish line they do have them for 160 as opposed to one as opposed to 200 however we did see them at another place for 130 bucks so many locations have dropped these down now down to 70 bucks on these find them at Ross for the same price maybe even a little cheaper so now got our Adidas love on today, the Anthony Edwards Believe T with the uh, Yeezys on deck, one of my favorite pair in my collection right here. Then of course we got the beanie from All-Star Weekend out there in Atlanta. Shout out to Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks. You've seen me before, but if you didn't see that video, let me know what you guys think about these Air Max 90s. Are these ugly or interesting? Still the best colorway of the Air Max Plus 3. Fire colorway right here. It definitely reminds me of the first TNs that came out with the same color combination. Combination. And this location has Jordan 11 Gratitude still, however, only in um, grade school sizing. Nothing available for the men. Full retail on this 4D Ford. Don't remember if we've seen this color combination. Combination. 
some colorways of this shoe have been popping up at discount stores as well. But uh, this colorway is not too bad for the ladies. What do you guys think about this color combination? Combination. On the back of Max Plus, still full retail at 210, but not a bad colorway for the limited. A lot of blank spots on the walls, man. So hopefully that means people have been scooping up stuff and selling out shoes. Definitely a good thing to see. Will we see a lot of these shoes come back from <laughs> returns? I've been seeing returns all over the place. And this one's just sitting here all lonely in the cut. Let me put that up here so more people can see that. Put some respect on the Jordan 1, you feel me? Let's take a quick look at Liz and see if there's anything in here worthwhile. I mean, who are we kidding, man? Liz always has a very solid selection of hats here. Nothing you can't go wrong with. If there's something you guys want me to come back for, let me know. But there's just too much to go through here. I don't really see any crazy sales going on right now either. Small hats right here are definitely solid too. This is like that bubblegum series or the top series. Definitely clean on these. Fitted hats for 50 bucks on those. The Dodger one is definitely clean too with the pin on the top too. Atlanta Braves. I like the selection here. They definitely have a good selection. This top one is also pretty clean too. Hats are definitely dope and low key important. Hat selections here, man. $10 on a fitted hat size eight. We got Dodger ones here too. Dodger World Series fitted hat. Oh, well, they got some of the just done hats that I had before. Seven and three fourths. Ten dollars on these. Sold a bunch of these on whatnot and have some on my website as well. Ten dollars on the hats, man. That's that's actually clean, bro. Ten dollars. This fit of hat's pretty clean too. I like the color combination for these. Combination. Damn. Ten dollars on these hats. They got you know get over here to live because they definitely got some hats that are marked down. Some sizes that you might like. Or not. I got a five dollar bin right here too with a lot of hats. Blank hats, angel hats. So they definitely have a lot of things on sale. $10 for those two bins, $5 for those. Definitely think we're gonna scoop up a couple of these. Cause I definitely sold some Just Don hats already before on my off of my website. These are normally like 65 bucks for the Just Don. Seven and three eighths. Oh, these are clean. So yeah, we're gonna have to scoop up some of these, bro. What are the common sizes for these? These are pretty clean too. This Boston Red Sox hat, twenty dollars, definitely clean right here. So you guys can see they definitely had some good stuff at Liz. I had to walk out with some of them just Don hats because they were so cheap. Normally like seventy-five dollars or sixty-five bucks on the retail. So to find out for the price I did, I'm definitely happy about that. You can't beat these for ten dollars, bro. Not ten dollars. So grabbing these for $10 was definitely a steal. Make sure you guys hit up your local lid because they got a lot of things marked down at $10 and $5 for fittings and snapbacks. This is that spot in the middle of the mall called Glitz and Glam. Shout out to them, they are some really cool people. And if you guys can see, they do really custom designs on your shoes. They have stuff here available for you. And if you're looking for something different, you can bring a shoe in or put in an order for the shoe and they can hook you up, man. But they put little... They put different, I'm not sure what these are, Savorsky crystals or rhinestones. Definitely a cool design that they do. You guys can just see the different options that they can do for you. If you're looking for yourself or buying these for a girl, I think she would like this if you just surprised her with it. You know what I'm saying? Anything here stand out to you guys, let me know in the comments below. But Glitz and Glam, they are here in the middle of the mall at the Sherman Oaks Fashion Center. Now this Jordan Lowe is already impressive. The, the velvet with the leather they got the gold they add the gold onto the swoosh right there very dope would you guys leave it like this or add those to the other side as well very clean shoe i like how they did it the finishing product is definitely sweet the denim jordan one lows got jordan mids they even have jordan ones over here too they can do them on pretty much any shoe definitely check them out if you have the opportunity to I'm going in here really quick because there's somebody who was watching the video previously that said they collect records. So shout out to you and anybody else out there who does. They do have a pretty nice record selection here. Now, last time I came, they had a Travis Scott. They had a, um, I think a Drake one. Also a uh, Kendrick Lamar. Not really looking like, okay, here we go. Rap, hip hop, Nelly. 
Twister, Kamikaze. That was actually a, a definitely good album. Post Malone. And that Childish Gambino. Weezer, whoever that is. I'm not sure who that is. Earl Sweatshirt. Young Boy. Never Broke Again on sale for $20. But they got records here. Vinyls, bruh. Dope to see that. We got more over here, too. Big Crit. Bad Boy. They actually have a really good selection here. Little Uzi, the pink tape. Shout out to Uzi Vert. Definitely a lot of good music from that dude, even though he's kind of weird. Big Crit again. Dr. Dre, the Chronic. $50. Okay. I'm not sure who this is. Playboy Cardi, okay. I fell off of him from a long time ago ever since he started doing real demonic stuff. Really demonic stuff. Eminem 2, Marshall Mathers 2, that's pretty dope. Thug Life, Earl Sweatshirt again, another Eminem. Pretty nice selection here, man. Just trying to see what else they got. Let me know if you guys are into vinyls. If you have a vinyl collection, shout that out too. And yeah, just another store that you can go and find some vinyls. Let's go ahead and check out Shoe Palace in the mall. As soon as you walk in, you just see the red tags just beaming off of the shoes. Very dope to see this. John ja Morant's, LeBron 20s, Air Forces, Blazers, Zoom Freaks. A lot of dope things here on sale for the low. 69, 89, 99 for the Vapor Max Plus. We definitely seen these at a lot of places, man. Hit up your Shoe Palace if you guys are looking for this colorway of the LeBron 21 on sale no other 21s have been on sale yet but this one not sure if they just haven't sold them really like that but it's crazy nobody else has this colorway or any lebron 21s on sale but shoe palace as we've seen before john moran's down to 69 bucks blazer lows down to 39 dollars zoom freak 5 down to 69 they're still marked down but only 139 i don't know why they're not 99 bucks like the lebron 21 is that he just put back but it is what it is LeBron 20s are just sticking out so much. What's the retail on them here? Still full retail 200. That's kind of, uh, don't make no sense. But hopefully at some point they go down. Nike Flight Light. This colorway is definitely dope. Still full retail of 140, size 9.5 in hand. Definitely a solid colorway though. Yet another location that has the John Morant Chinese New Year slightly early. If you guys looking to grab these, check out the shoe palaces in the area. LA, the Valley. Shoe palaces tend to have these on deck right now. They don't release till January 22nd. 139, 139 on the retail for this one. Definitely seen them a little cheaper at some other locations. Definitely a solid colorway for the Jordan 12. Just unfortunately slept on. Let me know what you guys think about these. Quality on the upper is definitely on point though, bro. I don't understand it. Jordan 1 Low Panda, still here. Jordan 1 Satin Bread, it's crazy. I mean, I like this color combination. I think the material is not bad. I showed this shoe to my girl. She said they were ugly. <laughs> Let me know if you guys think these are trash or ugly. Let me hear your thoughts. Another Jordan mid that we've seen plenty of places. Not bad. And I feel like these split Jordan 1 mids and lows just didn't do too well. That colorway is not the best combination. Another location with the Corduroy Air Max 90. Still full retail of 140 bucks. I'm told this location still has sizes left for the Jordan 11 Gratitude. This feels like it might be my size. Actually 10 and a half. Damn, so what does the 13 actually look like? That's crazy. Not a bad shoe, definitely a classic shoe. Classic silhouette for sure. Did you guys scoop up a pair? Here's another location that got them for the right price. 130 as opposed to that 200 or 210 price point. 139 is the lowest we've seen them so far. They also have sizes left in this Jordan 7 down to 139 on this one. Also, really nice price point for this. Jordan 3 Midnight Navy, still full retail, and they have a pretty good size run left of these. The real question is, can we get this Jordan 12 on sale? 139, 129, something like that. That would be super dope. There's no sales tag on this one. However, they are retailing for only 99 bucks, so these are marked down as well. Yet again, prices are different everywhere. This shoe palace still has these marked at 210 bucks, so still full retail, but most places have these guys marked down as well. These have definitely been out and around for a minute. The Laker colorway on the Jordan 1 Mids, still full retail at 125. Most locations got these for 99 bucks. 
Jordan 1 Low OG, Varsity Red. Jordan 1 Mobs, still full of retail on those. Then we got the six rings or MVP Jordans. The six, seven, eight combination, still full retail, not a bad colorway. But the materials, look at the leather quality, bro. Leather quality is definitely on point for these. Same thing with these, man. I tell you guys, the six, seven, eights get really good quality. People don't like them. Some people love them. And I don't blame you because they look nice, man. Probably got to go down a half a size for the perfect fit. But of these two colorways for the Jordan MVP, which one do you guys like more? 119 for this colorway on the 550. You got like the cell white and that royal blue. Definitely fire. Got the black in there as well. Let me know if you got the feeling either or not. It is on sale. Gazelle, form low. Not a bad price point. Even some of them 39 bucks. The price variations here. I've seen these for 40. We got these here for 80 bucks. Once again, a lot of things missing off the wall. Hopefully that means things have been selling out, which is dope to see. 80 bucks on these though. And as I told you in a previous video, Adidas, NMDs, the human races, still full 220 in store. But Burlington got them flooded for what, 32 bucks it was? Or 25 bucks? If you guys are enjoying this video, do me a favor, hit the like button. Maybe share the video so more people can watch. Check out my website, BoscoFeeds.com. Let's go ahead and get back to some more content. Stepped inside this reshow shop just to see what they had going on here. But of course, you guys can see they got a really good selection of shoes. Let's go ahead and check out the price of that thing right there. This is why people don't like resale shops and resellers. You guys seen these pandas flooded around everywhere. It's galore, pandas galore. So many pandas in this store full retail and now they're even popping up at Ross here 260 bucks for a 7Y are you smoking crack Jordan 11 gratitudes so many different flaws and iffiness with this shoe patent leather is not as premium as it used to be these do at least have milky outsoles, but look at that price point, bro. 369 bucks for these, and these are sitting in stores everywhere. This Jordan one is not available like that crazy. This right here though, retail here is 419 bucks. 419 bucks, are we tripping for a size seven men's? That is wild. 400 bucks for these. Another solid colorway for the Nike Dunk Low, the Cacao colorway. Kind of a sleeper colorway. 259 bucks for these, bro. They are smoking something. I don't know what it is, but they're smoking something, bro. I think I've seen these before. I'm not too sure. I like the materials on them. It's not an SB, it's a regular dunk. It does come with extra laces. Retail, drum roll, please. 259 bucks. Shout out to Cream Factory, but y'all are tripping, bro. Let's go ahead and see what these Neapolitans are talking about. Neapolitans available in a lot of places. 349 bucks for these, size nine through seven and a half wide. Oh my goodness. Another dunk low that's widely available in multiple spots. This oil green colorway retail here, 249 bucks, bro. What are they doing? And then, okay, now this is something we've seen everywhere. Even though I really do like this colorway, I'm a big fan of this shoe. 200, 259 bucks for the polar blue Nike Dunk Low. These are the reasons why people do not like resellers or resale shops. This is pretty whatever, pretty average actually. They're asking 200 bucks, bro. Uh, yeah, the resale shops are smoking that good stuff, you know, a lot of good things here Probably sitting because of the price points are so high, but we are in a mall where people do shop So maybe they'll be able to get off some inventory No real diss to the shop. It's just crazy to see all these things here for the price point you see them at, bro I guess on how much you guys think these are costing something that you guys see everywhere in Foot Locker shoe palaces right now What do you guys think these are going for if you were curious? Two hundred and nineteen dollars for a four and a half Y. Definitely seen resellers going crazy for these, even to this date. 
these have also been popping up at Ross as well. Size 5 wide for 280 bucks, bro. Let's get out of here. I already said that, but let's go. Let's get out of here. This is just, that's just gonna stay right there. You guys can keep that. Let's go ahead and see what this is talking about. You guys have been following me. You guys know that these have definitely been popping up at Ross. Not in select sizes though. They want 549 bucks. I'm done, bro. Last video we saw these returned at Nike or one of my recent videos. These were returned at Nike. $260 for a size 10 and a half with the flaw right there too. Let's get out of here, bro. Resale shops have definitely been on one lately. I understand they gotta make their money too. If they're consigning, that's probably one reason why the price is up. Or maybe they're just trying to take advantage of the general public. But let me know what you guys think about that, man. A lot of these shoes in there that I just showed you, you guys can find at retail stores chilling, or there I say the discount stores like Burlington and Ross. That's why you gotta put the footwork in a little bit to find the shoe you want and have a little patience and you can find it for the price you want. So once again, I'm here at the mall about to get me some more Max's Kebab. I really like to get the lamb chops. I got the lamb chops and a gyro wrap. Hopefully I said that. Is it gyro, gyro? I get so confused on that sometimes. But yeah, man, Sherman Oaks Mall, not too bad. Definitely came across some hats here, the Just Dawn hats which I'm not mad at at all. Normally 65 bucks down to $10, you can't beat that. Check out my website, BoscoSgoodies.com because I will have them listed there. Maybe even do them on my uh, next WhatNot auction, which I'm not sure. Maybe this Friday we'll go live, but stay tuned to that. Link is in the description for everything. My website, joining me on WhatNot to get $15 to spend on WhatNot. My Instagram, my Discord, all that stuff is in the description box below. So make sure you guys check that out. Um, Pretty good day here at the mall. A lot of people still here shopping. I don't know if they're making returns or buying stuff. It is what it is, but there still are a lot of people out there and there are deals out there to grab, you know what I mean? So overall, give me your thoughts and opinions about what you see here in this video. Smash the like button, share the video. If you guys wanna see more content like this, make sure you guys check out these videos out here on the screen. I'll see you guys in that video. Deuces.